Howdy, friends. Steve DePoe here with the Rose Realty Team with this week's Real Estate Live for North Texas. Today, 55 and over or 55 plus communities, did you know? Interesting topic considering a lot that's going on. So are they legal? Yes, they're legal. Um, back, in, um, back in 1968, there was the Fair Housing Act. And basically that had to do with um, race and discri uh, discrimination and those kinds of things. Well, they actually left out the 55 and over communities because there were a lot of them at the time, not as many as there are today, but there were a lot of them at the time. So they kind of, uh, the government kind of went back and and redid that, um, that the Fair Housing Act of 68 to, 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 to mandate or to, to put into the to put into the law that communities that we had were, were age restrictive so 55 and over type communities were legal and then it kind of launched a community right there are no two are the same and which which is true um, um just in our community here of or our area here of north texas we have um we have 55 over communities that are basically apartments you, you know that you can um uh you can go 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 next door go down go down the go down the hall and everybody there is 55 and over no no kids you know that kind of thing or you could, everything from that to a place like uh, Frisco Lakes uh, Ropes and Ranch and others that are that are sprawling communities that have golf courses and amenities and pickleball and tennis and you know restaurants and all that kind of jazz right so no two are alike and it depends on what they're serving uh, and they're serving in terms of the, the community and the demographic that they're trying to uh that they're trying to appeal to besides 55 and over um you don't need to be retired um the, the one of the misnomers are, are that you know once you retire you move into one of these communities well that's not exactly true um here at ropes and ranch for example uh 40 percent of the people here at ropes and, and we have probably right now around 5500 to 5800 people okay um about 40 percent still work in some manner shape or form okay so you don't have to be retired to move in um you just have to be you know kind of ready maybe to retire and have it in your mind but you could still um you know, you, you could you can still obviously you can still work um so 55 um um can someone under I'm sorry, can someone under 55 live in one of these communities? Yes. There's all kinds of rules and regulations and that kind of thing. So under 55, you could have uh, a caregiver, okay, who is the is the primary care, caregiver either for one person or the couple. Um, that would likely be, you know, um a grand son or daughter, okay, um, would be the caregiver under 55, perfect, per perfectly fine, perfectly legal. Um, it could be a son or daughter. Who happens to be under 55 who um who lives there doesn't even have to be the caregiver um but is um is living in the living in the household um the the trick is that um 80 of the residents inside the community have to be 55 or older okay um and and so if that if that kind of that, that number is, is is held to then you can um you can have um um somebody under 55 and some and some husbands and wives um you know um married somebody uh, maybe a second marriage or something like that um that are that, that that's younger than than their spouse for me for example the trophy husband you know um it's perfect we're, we're perfectly cool in this uh, in our household here um uh, staying active can improve health. You know, there was a study done that um, people over 55 who remain active, uh, even stuff like, you know, playing cards with, um, um, with with friends and neighbors and socializing and stuff like that can extend their lives and make their lives, you know, make their lives healthier. Um, you know, in terms of in terms of the community with amenities, you know, like I mentioned before, pickleball, golf, swimming, fitness centers, um, uh, a, a library. Um, uh, we have a paint. We have a painting and art studio here, um, and and um, and then pottery. Um, you, you know, all of that kind of all that kind of stuff and all that kind of activity allows people to remain active and allows people to uh, live a longer, healthier, uh, healthier, healthier life. Um, 
55 and plus communities are not retirement homes. Again, uh, residents still um, residents still still work. 40 percent still work, but there's a lot of volunteering going on. For example. In our community here, we have a we have an I just call it an outreach where uh, folks actually they're they're um, they work with I guess I would call them latchkey kids, right? Where the kids are going to be home um, um, alone uh, for a period of time before mom or dad get home after work, and they go to the house and make sure the kid does his homework, maybe gets a good meal. You know, and those kinds of things before mom and dad get home. Uh, also, those those kids also come into in, into the into the into the caregiver's house. You know, um, and, and and so it's not a retirement. Again, it's not a retirement home. It's not a retirement village. People are really active, and it can um, uh, you know it can uh, extend uh, extend your life and your health. Kind of help uh, you know that kind of shed some light on fifty five and over communities. Next week, 2023 predictions for real estate, and also a look back of predictions that we made in 2022. I'm Steve with the Rose Realty Team. I'm gone.